hurry, come on, we gotta go. 37 million people leave through this airport every single year, so we have no time to waste. We're flying out, baby, from Miami International Airport. Miami International Airport used to be called Miami City Airport. One of its major airlines was Pan American Airlines after they moved their operations from Key West. This helped set Miami as an international city because Pan American Airlines chartered flights to Cuba. So it was a huge jump start for us. Eventually, Pan American Airlines moved their operations to Dinner Key in Coconut Grove. And at that point, Eastern Airlines became the primary resident of Miami International Airport. The founder was Eddie Rickenbacker. Yes, like Rickenbacker Causeway going to Key Biscayne. This airport was even used for military operations. That's right, from the 1930s until the 1960s, the military used this as a base for anti-submarine missions. Since this was during World War II, they also used this area to train pilots in long distance travel and for various other military operations. They did that until the 1960s where they moved to the Homestead Air Reserve Base where they remain to this day. Now, Miami International Airport is one of the busiest airports in the United States and accounts for about 60% of the international travelers that come to Florida. Miami International Airport is also the international freight hub of the entire United States since we have so many shipments here coming from Latin America and the Caribbean islands, thus giving us the nickname, the Gateway to the Americas. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Remember to give me a follow. I am Cara the Tour Guide, here to tell you all about the beautiful things that we have in our city. Trust me, there's so much to discover. I specialize in business group travel, so feel free to send me an email if you're coming to Miami for a conference and are looking for a fun little tour. Just send me an email, send me a DM, and I will see you guys next Monday.